Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over navigation for the BF109. There's three things for navigation. First is the compass right here, then is the kneeboard right here, and then is this thing right here, the AFN2, which I'll talk about in a second. So first let's go over the compass. Basically there's an airplane on it, and um, whatever direction the plane is pointing, that is where you're going. So you can see I'm going bearing 060 right now. One thing to keep in mind with the compass is that whenever your plane is in a bank, it doesn't say accurate readings. It just kind of shows random stuff. So you need to level out and then read the compass to see where you're flying. The other cool thing with the compass is that you can actually adjust it here. So let's say I want to fly due north. I'm going to put the N on the top white line. And then I can fly until my airplane symbol gets lined up with the N. Okay, so now we'll go over the kneeboard. So you can open and close it with right shift and K. And you can just glance at it by holding K and then let go. So you can use the bracket keys on your keyboard, which are the keys right next to the letter P, to scroll through your different pages. And you can use right control and K to plot down a little arrow. So you can see there's a little arrow for where I am, which is a cool feature so you never get lost. All right, and the last thing I'll go over is the AFN2. So this is a little device that tells you if you are to the left or to the right of a runway. So first thing you need to do is go to the map and find an ILS beacon. You can see the ILS beacons are these white triangle symbols here that come out of the runway. So what you can do is you can find the, the airport you're going to land at. I want to land at Mineral Vodi. So if you look at the end of the beacon, there's a, a frequency 109.3. So in the mission editor, you click on your airplane, and then you click this beacon symbol. And then for the AFN2 base frequency, you need to type in 109.3, or whatever your frequency is. Now keep in mind, in DCS, some of the airports have two ILS beacons, like Vodi has two. And in DCS, only one of them can be active at a time. And the one that's active is depending on the wind. So you always want to land into the wind, so if the wind is blowing to the east, that means this beacon will be activated because you're landing to the west, so you're going in the wind. However, if the wind was blowing to the west, then that means this beacon would be activated because you're landing into the wind. Okay, so now we need to set it up. So basically, for the radio channel selector, um, in my testing, it seems like it doesn't matter what the channel's on as long as it's not in one. If it's in one, it doesn't work. Then you can put the volume to whatever you want. And then all you do is you flip this switch down. So whenever you're flying close to the airport, once you get within the range of its ILS beacon, you'll start to hear the beeping sound. If you look at this meter here, you can see this um, meter went up. So that means it's on and currently it's working. Basically, the way this beacon will work is if we are to the left of the runway, this needle will point to the left, and if we're to the right of the runway, it will point to the right. So I'm going to turn the volume down, and I'm going to fly to the left of the runway to show you what happens. As you can see now, it is beeping to the left, so you can see we need to fly to the right. Now I'm a little bit to the right of the runway, so you can see it's beeping to the right now. Now I'm lined up with the runway, and you can see it stays in the middle. Basically, this is just something to help you get lined up with the runway and land during bad weather. The other thing to note is that there will be these little beacons on the map. You can see this one right here. Whenever you fly over the beacons, this will um, light up orange. So you can see we're flying over the beacon now, so it's lighting up. Also, this orange light will only light up for the beacons on the side of the runway that you have the frequency tuned in to land on. You can see once I passed this ILS beacon and went to the other side of the runway, even though I'm flying over this beacon, it's not, it's not lighting up. The last thing to note is that, unfortunately, the Normandy map doesn't actually have any beacons on it, as, as far as I know at least. So this system doesn't actually even work on the Normandy map, which is what most people fly World War II on in DCS. However, I figured I'd still make a video on it in case you're flying on the Caucasus map or something like that, because it is a still a pretty cool feature. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you later.